It's early. Hey everybody, welcome to my race video from the Wasatch 100 a few weeks ago. I uh, had an amazing time at this race. I hope you enjoy watching and being a part of some of my experience. Um, it was a great trip. Just had an awesome time with my brother who came down to support me, crew me, pace me. Uh, and uh, so here's my story from the Wasatch 100 2022 edition. What's going on, everybody? Good morning. We're here at the Wasatch 100. So excited about this race. Big race for this year. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be brutal, but it's gonna be epic, and I can't wait. Will's here, You're gonna pace me and crew me. Let's go. What's it like to be up at, uh, what, 4.30? I got a few hours of sleep last night. <laughs> this is gonna be, that. yeah, yeah, definitely. It's gonna be awesome, so very excited. We got all these people here. I don't know if you can even see that, but I think there's close to 300 runners for this race, so it's going to be awesome. Just getting ready to settle in for 30 plus hours of just really hard running, but amazing views. So. Looked good at the start, so we'll see. But uh, smooth start, nothing, nothing too crazy. So we're about a quarter of the way up this first climb in Bear Canyon, and it is awesome, man. Having a great time, feeling good, getting some food. Things are going really well. five miles into the course. I think about halfway up this climb, up Bear Canyon, and it is an absolutely gorgeous morning. amazing 30 hours plus can't wait might need another GoPro battery though because this stuff is epic amazing just uh, as you can see quite scenic so all right quick fuel up at Costco complete 
and headed to the Fifth Water Hot Springs, about an hour and 15 minutes away. Gonna get the music going, got my hot coffee. Should be fun. Here at the Uinta National Forest. I'm not sure I'm saying that right, but I'm trying. We got uh, the entrance sign. Let's see, I'm checking some messages right now from Dan. Uh, let's see. Top of Massive Bear Canyon. Feeling great. All right. Hey, that's some good news. All right. So I still have about four or five hours till I'm going to see him, but I'm coming up here to the fifth water hot springs. mile 10 check-in actually 10.45 so going really well so far beautiful day legs feel fresh even after that monster climb out of Bear Canyon it's gonna be a great race amazing time this is I can't think of a better way to spend 30 plus hours of my life ask me that in about 25 hours I might give you a different answer Mile 15 check-in, still having an awesome time. Look at these aspen trees, man. Uh, I, we just hit a pretty big, pretty nice climb, about a thousand feet. Uh, I think we've only done about 800 of it. Definitely <laughs> took it out of me a little bit, but uh, that, first, that first climb out of Bear Canyon, man, that's 4,200 feet or more. That really is hard for the beginning of a 100 mile race. But I think I played it well. I think I took it easy enough that it didn't kill me uh, as far as my quads so or my fitness. If you haven't noticed yet, I have a bit of a head cold. So I'm kind of fighting that today. But uh, so far, so good, man. So feeling amazing. Going to keep this up. Go slow and slow down. Let's get something to eat. 77. Thank you, feeling you great today. Win, you look great. It's an awesome day.
Look at that scenery, crazy, crazy beautiful. So I think we're around 23 miles into the race and man, I'm actually feeling a little bit dizzy from the altitude, I think. I don't know. Also, I took Claritin for my cold. Hopefully, that's not what's keeping me a little bit, getting me a little bit dizzy. But amazing scenery, so pretty. All right, they probably have like seven miles to the next date station and I'll be able to see Will at that one, so that'd be cool. So I just went to the store, went to Dan's. Seems to fit right for Dan's race here. And I got him his Coke, his ramen noodles, and ice with the cooler. Uh, I was able to find um, some soda waters for myself, some salt and vinegar potato chips, and Oreos. All things that during an ultra people crave. So, um, I guess non-alcoholic beer is the only thing that I wish I could have found. Well, I know Dan is close. Uh, according to his GPS, he should be here any time. But uh, we're here at Big Mountain, uh, the aid station you can see behind me. Pretty active. Uh, yeah, I keep looking up here for him, but he'll he'll be coming down in just a minute. Let's go, Dan! Woo! Let's go, Dan! Hey, man. How you doing? All right, sweet. Yep. Uh, do you want to sit over here? Yeah. Under, Thank you. Sit on the, uh, All right, here. Oh, coke? Sweet. Just on the way. Dude, there's Craving food up here on the left. Okay. Uh, uh, next one is 8.8 .8 miles to Alexander. Okay? Okay. And then 6.8 miles. Let's record here. And then 6.8 miles. So I'll see you in 15 miles. 15 miles? You feeling good? Yeah. There's some big flags coming up. Uh, but I feel pretty good, man. Yeah. You just keep going. I felt really good earlier. I was like, this is crazy. I'm sick and I feel fine. Like there's nothing. Like this is amazing. Good. And then I hit some big, big climbs. And you have your medicine on board and you can make sure you take that again if you need to. Yeah. All right. Get going. All right. Thanks, bro. Yeah. You look good. Thanks. You really do look good. Yeah. Sunglasses. You look good. See you. Go. Yeah. Go get him. Enjoy. Have fun. Thanks, man. Yep. 77 out. Listen. 77. 77. Thank you, gentlemen. Have a good day. That's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the five sticky, come get high with me. That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? Hey, coming down like precipitation. I ain't never met a limitation. Hate applying my elimination. Gotta go to Google for the information. I'm a superstar, so I gotta shine. 
top dollar be the bottom line Bottom feet and out of line Turn your heart rate to a dotted line Yeah, my Zodiac probably dollar sign Got the energy to win in my I'm feeling great Got a date with destiny focusing on my fate I don't give a fuck what you rapping, you been a fake I'm everything that they ain't, it can't be, it won't be Wanna see me fall, I can't go, I won't leave Coming from the block with plain clothes and police Straight up to the top with bankrolls and rollies Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the 5 sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the 5 sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? I'm doing all right. Definitely a low patch. I need water. I have Tailwind, but I don't really want to drink sweet stuff right now. But this view is unbeatable. Take a look at this. Everything must go sail. Hitting with the old well. Need a hundred million on the low scale. On my worst night, on the best. Wouldn't mess with you. We're gonna go down that ridge, I think, to the lake. <laughs> Pretty cool. Not looking good. <clears throat> Not looking good at all. I'm still, I still haven't gotten to Alexandria Station. As you can tell, it's cold. Not good. And I'm kind of dizzy. Lightheaded. Like I'm sort of unable to Stay on the trail. Not good. <laughs> Thanks everybody for watching my video. That was the surprise, uh, abrupt, and tragic end to my 2022 Wasatch 100 experience. Unfortunately, I had to DNF at the next aid station, and I was feeling really, really bad. As you could tell, I had what I thought was a head cold, but when I returned home, I tested, and it was actually positive for COVID. I thought that uh, it was probably wise to quit the race um, and try another day. Didn't know exactly what was going on at the time, uh, except for the fact that I felt like absolutely terrible. Um, and I didn't want to go into the night um, and potentially, you know, get dizzy or have any issues on my own. I wasn't running with anyone, so I was concerned that uh, that, that was going to be a safety issue. And looking back, I'm glad that I did pull the plug. Uh, I really wanted to finish this race, but sometimes you have to make a call, and I think I made the right choice. Uh, at this point, as I'm recording this video, I'm actually in Ohio and just fine. This is now post race uh, about two weeks but i did get through it and i'm actually starting to run again so anyway i want to thank everybody for uh watching my video i had an amazing time big shout out and thank you to my brother for everything he did with this race and uh don't worry i'll be out there again can't wait to be out west again for a race maybe next year so hope everyone's doing well and we will catch you in the next one